In this video, we're going to talk about elasticity of supply. So elasticity of supply is a measure of how responsive the quantity supplied of a certain good is if there's a change in the price of that good. So if the price of oil goes up by 5%, what happens to the percentage change in the quantity supplied of oil? How do oil producers respond to that? So we calculate, we take the percentage change in the quantity supplied and we divide it by the percentage change in the price of the good. And similar to price elasticity of demand, if it's greater than one, so if, it, if it's greater than one, we would say that the supply, uh, the elasticity of supply is elastic. So if it's greater than one, it'd be elastic. And we say if it's between zero and one, so if it's less than one, then we would say that the elasticity of supply is inelastic. Okay, so I want to give you an example and, and we'll, I'll show you how to calculate the elasticity of supply. So let's say that we're talking about the market for natural gas and that the price of natural gas increases by 10%. And then firms in response to that, let's say that they increase production of fracking or whatever they're doing. They increase production to get more natural gas and therefore, as a result, the quantity of natural gas supplied increases by 15%. So now let's calculate the elasticity of the supply using those figures. So again, we're going to take the percentage change in quantity supplied, which is going to be 15%, right? So that's 15%. And then we're going to divide it by the change in the price. So the price of natural gas increased by 10%, 10%. So when we divide those, and that is 1.5. That's a 5, 1.5. And so that is going to, we would say that the elasticity of supply is elastic. It's elastic because it's greater than 1. That means that a 1% change in the price leads to more than a 1% change in the, in the quantity supplied. Now, the elasticity of supply is going to depend on a couple of things. One is the substitution of resources. How easy is it for firms, when they see that increase in the price, to turn around and say, okay, let's now produce more natural gas. Right? They might not have the resources to do so, or it might be really difficult. They might have to switch resources from something else they were doing in order to, to, to produce more natural gas. So it depends on the good in question and how easy it is to, to substitute resources. And it's also going to talk, not just the, the substitution of resources is an issue, but also thinking about the time frame and whether we're talking about the short run or the long run and so forth. It's not necessarily easy if we see that the price goes up 10% to immediately the next day say, okay, now we're gonna increase uh, natural gas production by 15%. Maybe that's something that takes a, a huge investment of resources and machinery and so forth. And maybe in the long run, maybe it would be more elastic than it would be in the short run. So again, it depends on the good or service and we have to think about how easy it is to shift resources to change the production of that good or service in response to the price change and then how easy it is to do that in the short run versus the long run.